Well, first of all, I want to say thank you uh, for having me on the program. I feel really honored to be able to speak to the women who are watching and to really use this time as a personal invitation to you to join us in the conference happening October 2nd. But, you know, the verse that you just read is a beautiful verse, um, and it is uh, somewhat similar to one that I'm going to read and one that grounds um, uh, our conference. And that comes from Ephesians 2.10, which says, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. And so one of the reasons that we chose this verse or that, that really spoke to me is how God intentionally created each one of us. So there's a sense of intentionality and um, part of the reason why the conference itself uh, is called Intentionally Placed, God's Purpose for Your Public and Private Spheres. And so, um, yeah, so the, this is uh, the verse that anchors, um, anchors our minds as to why it is that we are, um, you know, putting on this conference. So thank you, Charlotte, uh, for being a part of our steering committee, putting this uh, conference together. Thank you for, for your support. And um, certainly thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to speak to the women who are watching. Uh, so we're so excited about this conference. Um, we started, I think, planning this conference in March, Giovanni. It's been a <laughs> lot of months. Uh, just really praying into it. Every, every meeting we had would begin with prayer and also really asking God for the speakers who are coming. And God has given us an amazing group of speakers. And, and the topics are really relevant. Would you just share a little more about the topics first and then some of the speakers, and I'll pick up on some of it because I know a few of them very well. So. Sure, sure. And so, um, you know, as I said, intentionally placed is, um, is the theme of the conference, right? Um, all of us who, who are Christians, right, we have been intentionally placed in whatever sphere we move in. So, you know, we move in our, in our work uh, areas, we move um, as wives, as mothers, um, we, we move um, in the world and within our community. And so as women of faith, you know, what is it that God has called us to do in those different spheres? And so, you know, it comes to um, a point where we're, we have to figure out how do our values, how do the biblical perspective that we carry with us inform what we do and how we move in those spheres. And that has become particularly difficult in the last I would say a year and a half, yes. right? Yes. Since the pandemic, we had, you know, the death of George Floyd and that, you know, thrust race into the forefront for us uh, Christians mm -hmm. to think about, um, you know, sexuality out um, in, in, the, in the world and sort mm -hmm. of the, the biblical mm -hmm. perspective on sexuality and how that, um, how are we to respond to what is out in the world? Mm -hmm. And so, a lot of the topics, uh, many of the topics that were chosen for this conference came out of conversations that I had with women because I mm -hmm. said to them, you know, if you had a choice of topics for a particular conference, what are the things that are in your heart? What is it that you want to mm -hmm. hear from mm -hmm. experts about? And so sexuality uh, and, um, you know, LGBT plus questions was on the list. There were um, questions about, you know, faith in our workplace, right? Um, there was you know, racial, um, racial um, issues and racial, racial, mm -hmm. racial justice, ra racial reconciliation. Um, our own church is extremely diverse, right? And yes. so, you know, how, how do we as, as Christians, um, you know, what is a, the biblical perspective on how we address issues of race uh, in our country? And so the, the topics and the speakers that are chosen are some of the ones that I've already mentioned. So we have um, Rachel Gilson, who is a graduate of Yale and a graduate of Gordon-Conwell Theological mm -hmm. Seminary, who will be uh, talking about biblical perspective on LGBT plus 
questions. Uh, she herself, when she went to Yale, um, was a practicing lesbian and was prepared to live mm -hmm. out a lesbian mm -hmm. lifestyle uh, while in school. Um, but you know, the Lord met her there and yeah. that kind of changed yeah. the trajectory of her life. And so she's going to talk about, you know, these questions from, you know, from the experience that she herself lived and, mm -hmm. um, and you know, just really teach us how to, mm -hmm. how to talk about these issues. Uh, we also have um, Beatrice Acevedo, who is well known in the city. She's a pastor at... Um, uh, Roxbury uh, uh, Restoration City Church, uh, and uh, she speaks frequently on this uh, topic of, of race, and she's going to come and talk to us about racial mm -hmm. justice and racial reconciliation. Uh, and we also have, um, you know, the topic of Christian singleness. Uh, there are a lot of women out there who are single and who are interested, you know, in knowing about how do we how do we move as as single women, you know, and so Rebecca Kerstetter has been working many many years. Her heart is for single uh, Christians, mm -hmm. and she has a ministry in the city that mm -hmm. speaks directly to the things that Christian singles want to um, want to know about, and so she's going to come and talk about mm -hmm. that. And I know you're very familiar with a couple of the speakers, uh, you know, Dorothy Greco and uh, Tammy McLeod. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you want to share a little bit about, about them. Yeah, I'd love to. Uh, they have been friends of mine for many, many years, and I just love them so dearly. All of these speakers, Giovanni, just have life experience. Each one of them is authentic, really authentic in the topic areas, which as you have just shared, are, are quite a wide range of topics. <laughs> I don't think there's any woman who wouldn't find something really pertinent in this conference on October 2nd. But I'll start with Dorothy Greco. Dorothy's uh, topic is going to be about marriage relationship. And uh, she has written two of the best books on Christian marriage that I have ever read. And I mean this sincerely. I mean it with all my heart. I have given up, literally, on reading Christian books about marriage because I, they were describing some kind of fairy tale marriage that was not mine, for sure. And so I just was so thrilled. Uh, Brant and I used to participate in a program called Living Waters that was run by Dorothy and her husband Christopher for several years here in Cambridge and we got to know them very well and they are authentic they're an authentic couple and authentic in their own spheres as individuals and Dorothy is an amazing photojournalist and now an acclaimed writer she has written two books one, the first one was called Making Marriage Beautiful, and the second one, the most recent one, is Marriage in the Middle for people who have been married for, you know, quite a long time and are facing challenges. Like in, some of us. <laughs> like some of us. Um, and are facing challenges in midlife marriage, which midlife is a whole, a whole different ball game. So I just encourage you uh, to really come and um, you know as, as, as Giovanni said these topics are really broad and you will find something important in all of these sessions whichever ones appeal to you and you can sign up for whichever workshop you want and then our keynote speaker is Tammy McLeod and Tammy is a, a chaplain at Harvard University with Crew, which is a Christian organization. It's a campus ministry on the Harvard campus. And Tammy and her husband Pat have just been godsends to our city for so long. Again, their authenticity in God. I just have the highest respect for both of them. And Tammy is also the um, at Park Street Church. She is in charge of the college ministry there and helping students. Uh, find their identity in God. She loves to do that kind of work. And so we're just so thrilled that Tammy is coming to be the keynote speaker. And um, years ago, and this is a, a little bit of a personal thing from my heart, years ago we used to have what we called the Pastor Summit. It was down in Sharon. And the different Christian leaders of Boston would come together once a year and we would pray together. 
And the first time I met Tammy was there. And I felt the Lord, not in an audible voice, but I felt the Lord gently say to me, pray for her. She is going to need your prayers. And I had no idea at the time what Pat and Tammy would go through. But one of their sons, Zach, was seriously injured in a football game at Buckingham Brown and Nobles here in the city when he was in high school. He was permanently disabled. And we have walked through a process, as many friends have with Pat and Tammy, through the grief of this, through the ambiguous loss of losing a son that they knew him as. And I, it was my joy to be at a celebration for his life as it was and then as it is now. Really, we encourage you to come on October the 2nd. Giovanni will lead us through the process of how you can register for this event. And it will be starting at 8 o'clock. It starts, yes, <laughs> yes, it starts at very early bright in the early, morning. <laughs> bright and early. But there will be fellowship. There will be a lunch together. There will be question and answer, brief question and answer periods for the workshops. And then culminating with Tammy's keynote uh, speech to us, just her message to us. And so I know you will be strengthened, and I really am looking forward to this day together. I would be remiss not to mention, of course, the faith and workplace panel mm -hmm. that we also have planned. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, you know, one of the spheres in which we move is our work sphere. And so how do we as Christian women uh, move uh, uh, in our work, you know, how do we, um, use our you know our values how do those inform how we you know ask for raises how you know uh, uh, how do we uh, ensure that we are acting you know within um, you know with our values at, at work you know if someone uh, wants us to do something that's uh, that's you know perhaps not illegal but maybe uh, uh, you know immoral or or just isn't right right and so uh, part of the panel, our, our workplace panel, um, Minister uh, Dianetta uh, Creighton-Jones from Morningstar Baptist Church. She is well known in the city. She is a dean at MIT, and we're really excited mm -hmm. that she's going to be That's part good. of the panel. Uh, we have Tulia Van Dunk. She is an attorney advisor for the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. And we have a couple of others that will be joining us in that panel. And so if you you are a young career woman and are interested in you know hearing about what these women have to share about the Lord where how the Lord has intentionally placed them in these various uh, areas and spheres of influence uh, you know I definitely invite you to to come and join us but as Charlotte said it is an all-day conference we start at 8 a.m. and we will be going through uh, 5 p.m. and so there will be worship in the beginning we will have a lunch we'll have um, a second opportunity for worship in mid-afternoon and we will finish off with what I hope will be a networking um, session you know one of the goals of the conference is for collaboration and connection and so we are hoping that women will linger and get to know one another. We already have signed up women from a variety of churches here in the city. So if you're looking to connect with other women who perhaps are doing similar ministry to yours, or if you're just trying to, um, you know, talk about these issues with someone else and, and, you know, get their take on what they took away from a particular session that you attended, that they attended, you know, just have conversations, we hope, and we want to make, uh, create an environment in which these discussions are taking place. And so, you know, we hope you will join us. I am so excited about the lineup of speakers that are coming, and I would love to see you there. I'm going to be there. Charlotte is going to yeah. be there. Uh, and all of these women who are uh, our speakers are going to be there. And so I hope you will, too. And you know what? I see somebody who has joined us on Zoom, and I think her name is Samara. Right. And we'll, we'll, we'll let you talk to her a little bit. Sure. Hey, Samira. Thank welcome. You. I'm so glad you could join us. Samira is part of our steering committee and uh, you know, one of the, the women leaders who works with me uh, in, in Synergist uh, Women. And uh, yeah, just uh, talk a little bit about you know the conference, uh, you know your feelings on it, how excited you are. 
about the speakers that are coming? Yeah, no, very excited. I think it's something that we haven't done before and we're coming together after what's happened with the being locked out in our homes. We'll have the opportunity to come together, women of faith and learn how to, you know, be um, intentional place, a continue just meeting new women of faith and, and learning more about how can we continue being uh, successful as women and with our faith in Jesus. So very excited about the opportunity, very excited. Um, and we just encourage other women to just join and sign up and come and in person to learn more and, and, and also meet other women. Yeah, and Samira won't mention it, but I will. And so uh, Samira's sister, Romina Wilmot, is going to be part of the Faith and Workplace mm -hmm. uh, panels. Uh, Romina is a CEO and works uh, in healthcare, and so we're really excited. Mm -hmm. So we have representation from women in various industries. You know, again, we have healthcare, we have education, we have uh, the law, and so we're we're super excited um, about about having Romina also join uh, join our panel. And so you're probably wondering how you can register. So uh, you can register by going to leondejuda.org and going to the events page and you will see the poster that actually ha as being dis has been displayed here and you can uh, click on the link and register that way you can uh, the actual web page for the conference is rather long so I don't know if I'm gonna um, give it out here but you can definitely um, go to Leon de Juda L E O N D E J U D A dot org and click on the events uh, section and you will you will see our poster on that page and there's a register button and you can register uh, through our uh, church website.